Hey, howdy! I'm Jez here at the Brooklyn Library, the demonstration garden on the rooftop of the Greenpoint Library. And wouldn't you look at this? We got some garden beds, and I'm getting some ready for our three sisters. Do you know what the three sisters are? Well, the three sisters are corn, beans, and squash. And there's a whole bunch of different kinds of corn, squash, and beans that have been grown for, I don't know, since time immemorial in this place called Turtle Island. Now, probably not in Greenpoint because I've heard that Greenpoint is actually like a very marshy area. Um, but we're not growing in the ground in Greenpoint, which is good because the... The Newtown Creek, there was a big oil spill there recently, um, in recent history, which has contaminated a lot of the soil in this uh, neighborhood. And so, actually, that's why we have these raised beds in order to plant some food in, and, and so that we can eat it. Um, so let me take you over here to um, the beds that I'm working, at, working with. Would you like to sleep in this bed? Doesn't that look comfy? Big black ground. Ooh, yeah. Doesn't that look great? Ooh. Yeah, here, let me let me show you. I don't know. Can I flip this around? No, I can't. So the thing is, I'm gonna show you like this style. Alright, so we got our, our our bed here with the soil. And the thing is, the soil, before I mixed it up, looked like this, you know? Here's, here's an example. Looks kind of like this. You notice there's a lot of different kind of things in there. What's, what's in there? There's a lot of little rocks. Well, yeah. Those rocks are going to be good for, like, aerating the soil. They, like, let things, like, soak into the ground. That's cool, too. Um, but then we've got some like stuff here in the center. Do you see? It looks a little different, doesn't it? Check it out. Ooh, look at that. It looks really... Ooh, if I crush it up, look at that. It forms like little balls. It's kind of moist. More like clay. Well, that's actually some compost. It's, uh, compost. Mushroom compost. Do you know what mushroom... you know what mushrooms are? Well, mushrooms are something you eat, and they, they're from a fungi. And, um, well, in this case, mushroom compost is blended and screened organic soil amendment used in flower beds, rose gardens, vegetable gardens, for seed starting and container planting. So, they say to throw down some compost because this is soil that's been, uh, it's like new soil been grown through decomposition. <laughs> this is funny, right? Growing things through dying things. See, mushrooms are really cool because they decompose like matter. They turn it back into soil so that it can be used again. They're part of the soil cycle. And uh, we'll learn more about that later. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm just running through this, like, kind of at random, so I hope you're, you're willing to join me on this, like, various tangents. So I mentioned that we're growing three sisters. Um, now, we don't have any seeds to plant right now. They're actually downstairs. We're just preparing the soil, because we want the soil to be healthy, and we want it to, to be good to grow in. Um, that's important. So that's why we've added our mushroom compost, to the pre-existing soil. Because there was stuff that was growing here last year. I don't know what it was, but it soaked up some of the nutrients. So we want to add a little bit more back in. And especially because one of the, the first, actually the first sister, the corn, has to get planted first. Now, corn is what's called a heavy feeder. It really soaks up lots of nutrients, and which is why it's so good for you. I mean, did you know that corn was, like, 
developed, I guess. I'm not sure what the right, right word here is. It, it has been, like, cultivated by indigenous people of the Americas, sometimes called Turtle Island, for since time immemorial. And it's one of the most important, like, foods that we have that we have inherited from indigenous people. So remember to say thank you, indigenous people, specifically for Greenpoint. Do you know, do you know who the indigenous people of Greenpoint were? Well, they are. The Lenape. Yeah. Sometimes called the Lenny Lenape, which means original people. So we are going to be growing some Lenape corn. It's called Delaware. Also called Delaware Blue Flint corn. Or Sesapsing. Um, and it really likes nitrogen. And so we added a lot of extra compost at the beginning of this in order to make the beds ready to plant the corn. Now I'm not going to plant until next week. And you'll see it. I want you to come back next week, Thursday, 2 p.m., and we are gonna plant corn in these beds. And I'm gonna say a little blessing. It's gonna be great, because we want the Lenape corn to flourish here in Greenpoint. Because that's where, this is where people grew it, when they were originally here. And we wanna welcome Lenape people back. So, if you're Lenape, I just want to say welcome. Welcome to Greenpoint Li Library. Please come and say hello, introduce yourself. My name is Jez, and I'm a children's librarian here. And I'd be so glad to meet you um, and to take you up to, to see the beds for the corn. Now, <clears throat> I wanted to mention a couple other things before I end the video, which is that I... I'm doing a specific design that I read about in a book called Native American Gardening by Joseph Bruchak and Michael Canudo. Joseph Bruchak is an Abenaki storyteller and collaborated with Michael Canudo on this series of a bunch of stories which I'm going to be sharing in my story time in the garden here. But um, in this, in Native American gardening, they illustrate a couple of different ways that are are made to um, that were developed to to grow three sisters, um, and uh, so we're using what what uh, is described in that um, book as the Wampanoag design, and the Wampanoag design looks like this. I mean, I want to see if you can see this. Okay, so if you can see, I'll try to describe what I'm, what I'm showing you right now. So this is a garden bed with a bunch of you know, black soil, and I've, I've dumped in a bunch of compost in the center, and I actually I like mixed it all around with my hands. I, I, I uh, dumped in about a third of a bag of compost, of that mushroom compost. I don't know how much that is. This bag is 40 pounds. Oh, wow. I wish I had looked at that before I picked it up. I kind of, I think I might have hurt my back. Um, hopefully, hopefully I didn't do it too bad. I'm going to rest it up. I'm going to take a bath tonight. Anyway, uh, I mixed up about what's one, what's 40 divided by three? Can you do some quick mental math? 40 divided by three. That's maybe like 13.3 repeating 33333 pounds. And I just dumped it in the center. And I mixed it all around actually. I mixed all the soil around with like the old soil. And then I formed it into like like a donut. It looks like a big donut here, soil donut. You can see. And uh, so the circular design is a Wampanoag design. And what we'll see is, uh, I'm gonna plant four, we're gonna hopefully have like four um, corn in the middle. One, two, three, four. We're gonna be orienting it according to the four directions. Do you know what the four directions are? We'll talk about that later. 
I'll tell you. It's north, east, south, and west. Okay. So, we're going to plant it in the four directions. Right in the center, because we want the, the water to kind of like soak in to the center with the heavy feeding corn. And then we get this hill around the corner. That's actually where we're going to plant the beans. The beans are going to come in on the around the donut. And then we're going to plant in the corners. Uh, I'm going to do squash, 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 maybe, maybe squash here. Maybe you only need one squash plant, one or two, actually, um, because um, the squash is going to just hang on the outer rim, and then we're going to vine it around like this. But the beans are going to grow up, 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 grow up the corn. And that's how Three Sisters works. It's They're all working together like a family um, to support each other. Yeah. Um, we'll tell you more about that as we come along. So I, I just wanted to illustrate that I did a couple of things differently here with the different beds. Um, this is the first one. I mixed everything up. I tried to dump it in the center and then I just really mixed everything around and created my donut. So you can see it's black. There's like kind of compost that's everywhere around here. So that's going to be good for everything. Now, um, <clears throat> in this one, I actually, I kind of just like cleared out the center and then I dumped my compost in there, and then I mixed it around with some dirt in here, and so most of my compost is is based in this donut area. It's not really on the outside so much. You can kind of see that, that there's like more gray, maybe, soil around the outside, but most of it is, is in the center, and it's in the center here and in this donut area. Now, and with the last one, I'm gonna do something similar to that one because I know I know that the the corn is the heavy feeder that really needs like the nitrogen that's in this compost. So I'm gonna focus the the compost in the center, and I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like mostly down here where where the corn's going to want to grow. Uh, I'm going to kind of pile it in there. And then I'm going to pile up our beans in a circle around it and make that donut. But the other thing I wanted to do here is kind of fun. I don't know. I found something in the garden bed. Check it out. What is that? It's weird looking, isn't it? I actually don't know what it is. It kind of reminds me of like a carrot or like a parsnip, uh, a kind of tuber, tuber root. I'm not sure if that's right. Donuts are, or sorry, potatoes are tubers. Donuts are not vegetables. <laughs> um, but I found all these roots in here and I was kind of like, well, this is interesting. I learned today that <clears throat> corn has a very shallow root system. Do you know what the word shallow means? Has somebody ever described you as shallow? Would that be like a good thing or a bad thing? It's generally considered a bad thing. Um, because it means that their roots only go a little bit low. So when people think that you're shallow, it means that like you don't... Um, they think you're like you're only on the surface. Like there's not much like depth to your character. I hope that I'm not shallow. Um, and uh, anyway, but I want to support this corn who has like a shallow root system. Nothing against corn, you know. Corn's really good for us. So, so, but I and I want to support them to like survive and you know and grow strong. So I I kind of had this idea, like maybe if I kind of put these roots in kind of like this like a big them in here then maybe like the corn will have stuff to like hold on to you know it'll it'll have like some pre-existing kind of root structure to kind of grab onto so um i'm hoping that uh 
this is just like a nice little addition, like another interesting like soil amendment that I'm doing in order to support the corn. All right. And I'm hopeful that we don't get anything other things growing there because we want to grow corn here. We don't want to grow whatever this was. So anyway, I'm going to put all this together. Here's all the, the corn coming right in the center here. And then we're going to pile up. We're going to make our donut. Make our donut. Make our donut. Make a donut. How do you make a donut? You make a circle. You really need like a partner here. In order to film this process. But I, I'm just trying to prepare the soil now because it's already getting a little late in the season, evidently. Apparently the, the soil is probably already at the temperature it should be. Um, in order to grow corn, which is supposedly about like 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And so I'm just gonna try to pull this pull this together here. All right, you see it coming together? I'm gonna kind of mix up the soil with the compost under there. But we'll have a really rich and creamy compost center. It'll almost be like a compost donut. Like a jelly donut. You know, that creamy, delicious compost. Okay. There we go. So, we're getting it together here. And I'm making sure those, those roots stay buried. I don't want those coming up. And, and this is a little bit of an experiment. You know, one of the things about gardening is that it's a little bit of science. And one of the things about science is that it's all about experiments, you know? You like how my eyes got really wide there? Ooh, experiments. Isn't that exciting? This is like science. So here we are in the garden doing science. Indigenous wisdom in the garden. And we're learning from experience, from our own experience. We're also learning from the ancestors' experience. And I want to say thank you to the Lenape ancestors who made this moment possible. Who survived through so much colonization genocide forced displacement they were forced to leave their homes refugees due to a war brought through settler colonialism from Europe and um, so one of the other things that I'm happy about to say is that we're, we're fighting we're fighting back we're fighting back against er erasure the war against the indigenous people the Lenape people by planting this garden so I hope you uh, come by and visit our peace garden garden of peace remember to bring your peace with you and or get some peace while you're here you know it's one of the things you, you come to really love i come to really love about the garden is how peaceful it is up here it's just about growing things it's about creating the world that we want to live in Protecting our little seeds who are so powerful, just like our children. So that they can grow up and be powerful. Yeah. 
Well, check it out. Here's my donut. I made it. And, uh...